Hey, come here. Do a leg flex. His quads are bigger. <sighs> Ready for some carbs. Classic posing trunk. Pro tap. 50 winning, 50 bar, same again tomorrow. No, that's your lot. No presents. I take back what I said. You are yeah. looking good, man. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're soft. Yep. Competing against each other and their friends. Drama. <laughs> bon. Apple. Tit. You had a good day. You can't say that. Probably. I don't know. Every single session is going to be a building block. Because if somebody has to, why not me? So, why not you? Hey, come here. Do a leg flex. <laughs> flex your legs would be funny. His quads are bigger. You got the angle. Mm, all right, good. Morning guys, as you can see, this morning we are having a bit of fun. Spirits are high because today we are carving up for the first time. This is day one of the carve up. We may potentially get another carve up day tomorrow, depending on how check-ins look tomorrow morning. Just went downstairs, took check-ins for Callum and he is extremely happy. And we just hit a new low weight of this prep, which is kind of what we were hoping for. And it actually happened. Jordi just did a posing session. So she like has this little like setup right here with a mirror and the chair to like balance the phone. But as you can see now, the mirror's here. The legs are shining through quite a decent amount now. Like all the detail that I wanted to come out is like now showing, which is of course absolutely fantastic because the reason we did so many low days in a row, like now the low days have of course finished. We made it to the finish line. And the reason we did them was so the deep crevices in the legs can start to shine through. When it comes to goals that we've set, things we've done to try and achieve those goals, like everything has gone into fruition. Everything has like actually worked and come true. And that's only because of obviously like mine and Callum's relationship developing over the last like two and a half to three years of him coaching me. We've now learned so much about my body personally and how it responds to various different things. So very, very happy this morning. Now I'm gonna show you my weight. It's honestly wild, like seeing the body change in the way that it can change. Now we take pictures every single day just because of the fact that every single day, all the changes that we make to the diet and the plan like are needing to be monitored. Therefore, the plan for the day can be devised based on weight and the, how we're looking. So the check-in pictures that are sent to Callum, but seeing what the body can do and seeing what the body is capable of is honestly just absolutely mind blowing. So there we have it. The new lowest weight is 210.6 pound. It's actually a little bit lower than that because I've already taken a sip of water today and I'm wearing boxer shorts. Usually I wear myself in the morning like completely with nothing on. So you could say we're around 210.6, 210 210.4. But considering now we have this data, we have this information, my body is a little bit flat to be honest. The check-in pictures that we took this morning and sent to Callum, his response was, bro, you are so ready for some carbs and I could not agree anymore. We have wrote out the entire plan for today's carb up in my fitness pal. I've sent it to Callum. He's very happy with the food selection. We're keeping it very clean. We're not doing what we did last year with like bagels and just like random stuff. We're actually keeping it very, very simple with foods that we have been having the entire prep. We do have a squares bar in there somewhere at some point in the day, but mainly we are just upping the intake of rice, big mounds of rice with our like regular meals. And because my carbs are going to mean that I can mix some more fruit in there so we can add some blueberries, some raspberries, some strawberries. We can spice it up a little bit but overall we're keeping it pretty clean pretty basic and the body will respond better on these foods you know it's real when you start to see two things when on a prep classic posing trunks found these these are the ones that i used last year i really like the way they look like they cover the right amount but they show just enough you can't use like the bodybuilding trunks where like it shows too much like glute you want to like have it respectable in a way that's why the classic trunks are different to bodybuilding trunks and 
pro tan. We have the base coat. The way I like to do my tan, I'll explain the protocol like you know on the show day video. But I basically like to do my own base coat and then get a top up coat by the Federation the day of the show because I can control my own darkness. But I did just get a voice note from Callum. That is his voice note response to me sending him my like my fitness pal screenshot from today and the diet I've devised for myself to be able to utilize the macros he's given me and built a diet around that. This looks spot on, mate. Nice and predictable. Food source is consistent. This is perfect. Let's run it. Updates again. Post workout after after pump. Let's get some blood in, do some posing, take some photos. Done. Um, and then remember today, 50 winning, 50 bar. Same against Morris. We can keep them both both at 50 now consistently. Three grind salt, probably all six liters of water for today. That was listened to on 1.5 times speed. Don't worry, he doesn't speak that fast. We've taken the morning supplements. I've just taken my cleanse, so I'm going to start shaking real shortly. Meaning we need to get dressed, go do cardio, smash that after the day. I have a mani pedi today because we're going to fix my toes and fingernails. And talking about toes, have you seen my freaking toe ever since I dropped the can of rain on it? Like this shit is still blue. That's going to fall off for sure. About three weeks ago, I was in the fridge and I took a can of rain out the fridge and I dropped it on my toe and it just absolutely murdered my toe. Cardio was hard for a few days, but inevitably the toe is dead. It shall be, it shall be gone at some point, but hopefully the nail lady can make it look kind of nice. These are the Jordans that I said that I like shouldn't have wore during cardio and absolutely destroyed. So I've now just absolutely sacrificed these shoes as now my cardio shoes. Probably aren't the best shoes to do cardio in, but they are quite comfortable. But the new pair are waiting up there and will not be used for cardio. I typically always use my Ultra Boost, but I actually put them in the wash last night because they were like really dirty. So they are currently half soaking wet, drying outside. So we, we, we are using these for today. What's weird and oddly sociopathic is the fact that every single morning, I actually look forward to doing cardio. I don't know why or how or why I've changed my mindset towards cardio, but I actually enjoy doing it, strangely. Oh, how you doing, mate? Do we like it? How is it? Love a bit of mail. Got any uh, presents? No, that's your lot. No presents? Oh, damn. I take back what I said about loving cardio. This session was actually pretty freaking hard, especially considering last night's sleep was not good, considering we're getting a little bit leaner now and sleep is getting increasingly, increasingly harder. And last night's sleep was no shortage of absolutely zero. So, well, we did sleep a little bit, probably got about four to five hours in total. I like to get about six, seven, at least eight hours of sleep and especially on prep, because it's the only way to recover from the stress of the day. Cardio is now done, absolutely smashed, dripping with sweat. Now we're gonna head to Aldi to get some food. It, it, it means a lot to me anyway. Just on the way to Aldi, I bumped into this dude and um, we actually met about six months ago. He just said to me, to me that like, meant a lot. I wanted to like share it with you. I saw you six months ago and you were quite big and I said I was going to start going to the gym and I started going to the gym. You yeah. are looking good, man. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, yeah, it means a lot. We're doing I all right. You should follow me. You make my day if you follow me. I'll follow you if you follow the hard body Instagram. It's my company. You legend. If you actually follow me. I will. I do right now. How much is your cam? You gonna start YouTube? Yeah, I did a TikTok. Bro, account. honestly, don't not do that. Like, actually, like, when you say you're gonna do something, like, start a YouTube, you have to fucking seriously believe in yourself, and you actually, act, you have to actually do it. I'm living my dream life, and it's all because I started doing something. 0.7k. That's a start. That's a good start, man. Where there? So, where's your Instagram? It must be weird having an account like that. So you actually saw my picture. We're following. It means a lot. Thank Fuck you, yeah, bro. Day, man. Have a good session, man. Sadly, no squares bars. We did get the strawberries and we will find the squares somewhere else. They have their like their own Aldi version, but the macros are slightly different and I want to actually enjoy the squares bar that I do have. We'll get the right ones later today. We also got this delivery earlier. No idea what's inside. Well, I, I took a peek, but I actually don't know what it is. We'll open that a little bit later, but first we're gonna cook this and make some breakfast. And breakfast is served. Meal one is the same as always. We have our egg omelet with two egg yolks. And then part two is this absolutely delicious humongous cookie but instead i've actually utilized a lot of my carbs today to have like extra strawberries considering the fact that i absolutely love adding strawberries to everything because like i love jam and strawberries are like very close to that and relative to the amount of jam that i could have today like i could put jam on things i've got enough carbs i've actually got 600 grams of carbs to play with today there's 400 grams of jasmine rice currently cooking dry weight in the rice cooker so every single meal is going to be volumized with like so much good rice i'm going to saute in the wok with some veg a little bit of chicken i get another massive cookie I Again, for pre-workout, so essentially, I'm not gonna show you, like, this isn't gonna be like a full day of eating where I show you everything. I'm basically gonna be duplicating the same thing again in about two hours before the gym. And then I'll be having the same thing again on the nighttime, just keeping it simple. Geordie on the way back from shopping picked up the squares bars that I wanted that I couldn't get from Aldi. We're breaking one of those up and just like putting it over the cookie with some Walden Farm syrup and just having a nice sweet treat for the nighttime. I'm gonna enjoy this and I will probably see you guys when I'm getting ready for the gym. We are just about to make a pre-workout, try and down some of the, the, the water I've got in today, six liters. 
when I'm actually tracking like actually how much I have to drink now because usually as I said before I just like have like shakers throughout meals but now I've got to actually track six liters with a higher sodium intake I'm realizing that's actually quite a lot of water but we got the gym bag we're actually gonna be testing one of the new hard body samples the new lifting straps that are gonna be dropping mass production has started and these are our new premium leather lifting straps these are literally the most beautiful lifting straps I've ever seen like in my entire life there's black embroidery going down the entire lifting strap and of course right here it says hard body premium lifting straps there are a few companies out there that do leather lifting straps but of course like we didn't want to just like mimic what they do we wanted to make a new product and completely different and actually like a lot better than it can be because obviously like the other lifting traps on the market they're good but knowing what material can be used to make various different things you can definitely see that other businesses have cheaped out on their material that is not something we are willing to do and uh, the leather is actually extremely thick meaning it's even more durable release is still going to be like four to six weeks but when they do drop watch out one thing i was actually really excited about coming back to the uk is walking around and playing pokemon go we have played pokemon go the entire prep like i've literally built an account from like zero all the way up to like level 35 probably at the end of prep i'm gonna like show my entire like pokemon collection and like how many i've caught and what i've got for anyone that actually like plays it just to show like what prep and how productive prep really has been <laughs> i've always wondered what this place is next door though like, they're always taking in like deliveries they do like shoots and stuff for like different products and everything you know and like you're really nosy yeah me too. Just asked the question. Apparently they buy and sell cameras, which is amazing because there's actually a scratch on this one that does need fixing. So I asked them if they could give me a contact to potentially refurbish. Moral of the story, if you do not ask, you do not get, and you never know what the world is going to hand you if you ask the right questions. We keep the peace. You said it all. I wasn't there. No longer try. Let's go see Reese. Let's see Reese's opinion. We'll get his raw opinion. He hasn't actually seen these lifting traps yet, so we're gonna get his like raw reaction to see what he actually thinks about the lifting trap for an honest review. Alright. Reese is shredding as well, as you can see. Look at that face. So honest opinion. Jesus Christ, mate. Honest opinion. I like the uh, thicker than normal, you know? Thicker. No, don't compare it. I'm not gonna compare yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to slate anyone. Yeah, man. Very nice. They're uh, tough. They're soft, very durable. That's exactly the word. They kind of like pull against your joints, but this is like supporting the joint a little bit, you know? I like it very much. What about the look? It the looks design. fucking sick, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's one of those things where like you actually only need to comment on the quality and how good it is, because they look sick. You don't even need to comment on how they look, because they're freaking so good. They are a 10, aren't they? They are. They just are a 10. They're, they're a 9.9. .9. We tried to make some original. We, we're we not trying to do like one more replica, you know? Original. Tell me. Because they're leather and like the thickness of the leather, the way like when you wrap it round and it like tightens around the bar, it's like orgasmic. This pleases me more than a pro card cookie.
final exercise. I am absolutely cooked. Like yesterday, I weighed in at 212. No, it was 211.8. And then this morning, I was like, I'm, I'm definitely closer to 11. And when the scale said like 210.8, I was like, I am going to feel like an ass today. You have the energy to get through cardio. We smashed out the 50 minutes, did shopping, done some work, all this sort of thing. And I can tell that I need carbs. To, yes, I've eaten meals. Yes, I'm like, I have carbs in me right now. I'm not, by the way, this isn't me complaining. Like I feel very good. Like I'm having a really good day. I'm happy, I'm grateful for like the way I'm feeling. But body wise, yeah. But it feels good because it knows that the progress is there and we are exactly where we need to be. And the more screwed up you feel, the closer you're getting. So the worse you feel, the better. Because I'll flex at different times. Like, I'll try to flex harder every second. Yep. We got the boys, we got the boys in the background, we got James, who, you know James. Reese is, how many days out? 11 days. 11 days out. Our friend Minette, uh, you have actually seen Minette on the vlogs before, but you might not, if you're new to the channel, you won't know who Minette is, you'll probably meet her at some point. Minette was the person at my last show day who was in the car with me post show, who made me the Biscoff Vanilla Blondie. But she's also 11 days out? 18 days. 18 days. 17 days. Because she's days out. How funny is that? Jordi and Manette are competing against each other and they're friends. Drama. <laughs> Took some pictures for Callum so he can see what I'm looking like post-workout. Nails and toes are about to be uh, taken care of by this lovely lady. We actually only live up the street from here. And uh, is this place quite new? Six years. Six, oh, six years. I, I'm new then. If this is not multitasking, I don't know what is. We just posted a physique update on Instagram. I'm going to pop it up right here. By the way, if you don't follow the Instagram, it's at Brandon Hardbody. Me and Callum just did a collab post because I sent him the pictures that I took post-workout and he's like, bro, we have to collab on this post because you are looking grainy as hell. Which is actually awesome because it means that the carbs are going to the right places. I was actually really, really happy with the pictures that we did take post-workout. But the nails are, well, the toes are done. We're about to do the hands and Geordie kindly brought me down another meal because she didn't have time after the workout. So we have... A as you can see, another cookie with blueberries and strawberries. I've honestly been like so thankful for Geordie on this prep. Like things like this, for example, like needing to make every day perfect has meant so much to me and it's made all the difference, like having that support system. And uh, yeah, Geordie, if you're watching this, thank you. I absolutely love you and uh, we're in this together. With that being said, we are gonna continue. I'm gonna chow down and we are gonna get a glam done. And we are back and the nails are looking very, very shiny. It's honestly weird, like I walk around the street and I think of the like, see the shine? Are these dudes like looking at my nails being like, what a guy, like why has this guy done this? Nevertheless, they're done. We are spruced up and now we will not have stained nails when we get a tan. We've got chicken, rice and veg, of course, but we've got a lot of rice. We're gonna spruce it up, we're gonna fry it all up in the wok, add in some low calorie barbecue sauce and Cholula and make it into a bit of a stir fry. Bon, apple, tit. This is a very heavy bowl. I'm gonna demolish this and uh, I'll see you in the food coma. Meal is in. Definitely feel like I have a food baby in something right now, but I showed you earlier the fact that I got a box in and I wasn't sure what was inside it. Well, I actually now know what's inside it, of course. And I'm gonna unbox it. A friend of mine owns a company. They just started a clothing brand. They've been around for a, like a short period of time, but the success of the company is probably going really well. It's owned by Andre Diu and Rambia. Rambia, I think he was like in the beginning, like Andre's sort of like agent slash manager. They decided to start a clothing brand together, which is incredible. And I'm all for startup businesses, like always supporting people that want to like do something entrepreneurial. Right now we're gonna open the box and try on what they did send because it is a clothing brand and we're gonna see if the clothing is nice. It's gonna be a very sort of like a just off the cuff unboxing. This isn't meant to be like anything crazy. Sick. We have a gray 
oversized t-shirt, extra large. It's gonna look like a double XL on me right now, which is great. Uh, so we got a t-shirt. Me and Jordi are about to go for a walk to get our evening steps in. So I'm probably gonna like put on one of these outfits now and just like, well, I need clothes to walk around because I'm currently naked. Next, we have a pair of black cargos. Those will look sick with the t-shirt. If I want to maybe try on, because we are going only going for a walk and maybe I want to look fresh. The new Travis Scott Jordan 6s that I have upstairs would look sick with those black cargos. So we might, might try them on. I did buy them for like nice purposes, of course, like to not wear them in the gym, but walking around, I can do that. Snap pocket cargo pants, gray cargo pants. Varsity vest in gray mile, extra large. This is gonna look like a dress on me right now. Do not be deceived by these bulging pecs, I'm tiny. <laughs> this is a massive box, thank you bro. Same thing in black, Varsity tank. Oversized black tee, I've been seeing this all over Instagram and it looks absolutely sick, I can't wait to try it on. Shout out to you boys, the company is called Strut. I'm pretty sure I just type in Strut. I'm gonna put on one of these outfits right now and me and Jordi are gonna go get some steps in and enjoy the rest of this evening. It's a very freaking hot day. We are dripping with sweat. We've actually been, Jordi's in the back right there on Amazon trying to find a fan. The system in England is very flawed, very backdated. I absolutely hate it. Right now, I got the whole fit on and I'm not being funny. It's like these shoes were made for these cargoes. Like, zoom in a little bit. This is sick. You smashed it because this, this is sick. Straps right here, that is quality. These are actual pockets too, which is dope. Pocket right here. Oh my Ooh, god. Gonna put a dime egg in it. We're good. Now we're gonna get, dude, I'm wearing this, get steps in. I feel like on prep and stuff, like you do crazy things. You do weird things to like release endorphins. And I also wanted to just get out of here and take some pictures for Strut as well as like a thank you. So if you got friends, support your friends. And we're all trying to make something with our lives. We're all trying to grow. We're all trying to do something. We're all trying to not eat dominoes every day. Today's been a really good day, honestly. Like, I, I feel like my endorphins are high because I've got carbs in my body. I still have three meals left to eat and they're very, very high carb meals. But I feel good the fact that this year we've done it a little bit differently. Overall consensus of the, you know, approach to the carb up this year has been done very differently because last year we did it with like some dirty treats. I actually overspilled my recommended carbs that I had because I, I'll be honest, I cheated on my diet and I was having bananas. I was dipping it in jam. I was having more squares bars than I should have. I was actually at Callum's place like sort of like secretly doing it kind of behind his back in a way which you're just lost in this turmoil of like when your mindset like when you're not thinking like a pro athlete like what would a pro athlete do you don't actually act like one but as soon as you start to believe that you can become something more then you start to act accordingly and that's why this prep i've literally decided to carb up on oats and rice when i could have had everything we're doing it right and maybe hopefully it will show you had a good day yeah you got you got some food? Oh, shut up, no. You can't say that. We had energy today. Geordie's been carbon up too, so you can imagine. You can imagine what happened for the first time in one whole month. We're just dried up right now, but today, it's been all right. Maybe that's why I'm so happy. The sky, it might go a bit dark on my face, but the sky is looking really, really beautiful right there. People, because it's the weekend right, or it's close to the weekend right now. I actually just had some people come up to us and that actually recognized me and Geordie and was like, hey, we watch you and stuff. And it's, it, it's always nice when it happens because there's such like a vast array. I mean, there's so many people like currently on the beach. People come to Brighton all the time. And it's like the UK tourist attraction. I always forget that Brighton's a beach town that people come from like Nottingham, that where they were from, or like Birmingham where I'm from, just to like come by the beach. And we live here. It's pretty crazy. Everyone should come. Come visit. <laughs> and on the off chance you do come, you might just see me and Geordie strolling, walking around and uh, getting some steps in. Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. I was just gonna say hard body red, you know. Mine's cooler. That's cooler. Two hours into that right now. I actually wasn't gonna pick you guys up until the final meal because the final meal is a lot more attractive than this one, or at least until I made it and this steak has been made. I'm not being funny, but this is venison steak on a bed of bok choy with onion and then a mound of rice underneath. But this steak has been made so good. I just had to show you. Mm. Me and Geordie are watching a movie on Netflix right now. Geordie is finishing her high carb day. There's one more thing left and it's a crumpet with jam and Biscoff. I would love that and I could fit that because I actually have more carbs than her. But having jam, Biscoff and a crumpet would set my cravings off more than I would like to control. So I'm not doing it. Instead I'm having another cookie. But uh, yeah, this is us. What? We'll see you for the last meal. All right, so the time has come for the final meal. Geordie is asleep on the couch. I've been on my laptop for the last 45 minutes doing emails, replying to all the comments on the previous YouTube video. Thank you so much for all the love on the YouTube videos recently. Like it is so, so, so freaking motivating to see so many people just like getting involved with the YouTube videos, dropping likes, commenting like if you are enjoying the videos, 
dropping a like or a comment are based on anything in the video, sharing an experience of yourself. I read all the comments and I will respond if you're asking a question of sorts. So I do want to say a massive thank you, but we have made it to the final meal. And this one, obviously I said is a cookie. I've decided to make it in a different way. Everything is the same, except for the addition of the Rice Krispies square. So right here we have 100 grams of strawberries. Right here we have a squares bar. I'll explain why it's in a bowl in a moment. 50 grams of oats in a cookie that have baked on both sides so it's actually quite like sturdy and the other 50 grams is just right here just finished if you are too a creative genius you will know pretty much exactly what i have decided to do with the last meal so it's pretty big we're going to put the rice crispy square in the microwave we're going to melt it we're going to make it really sticky and gooey maybe add some water if we have to thicken it up and make it into a creamy sort of like rice crispy goo then we're going to drizzle it on the inside of the cookie add the strawberries add some walden farm syrup sandwich it together and there we go we're going to have a cookie rice crispy square strawberry cookie sandwich the, the idea is that sometimes they just i don't know you know, I'm so tired right now. It's actually like water intake has been obviously a lot higher today as well. And which is why I've done so many steps. I've actually done 17 and a half thousand steps today just to get be, like and be active throughout the meal. So I'm like partitioning, partitioning the nutrients, sorry, evenly throughout the meals. So uh, it's been a good day and I'm ready for the same again tomorrow, hopefully. Actually tomorrow I might get the same or a hundred grams of carbs less than we're tomorrow two days out. And that is how you do a refeed properly. Jeez, how are the lines like still? That's crazy. It's only right that I feel like I end this video with a bite. Nice middle section right there. That tastes freaking amazing. <laughs> I'm going to devour this and uh, tomorrow we're going to do the same again, hopefully. Thank you for sticking around. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications because it really, really actually really helps the channel grow like the little bell button click it you'll know when the show day video goes live when we travel to austria go to compete for our pro card all the amazing things that are going to be happening over the next week and a half to two weeks are all going to be documented on youtube so make sure to check it out good night peace out see you next time